Hi, Alex Berry here with Cobalt Boats. Welcome to the lake. Today we're going to go through a basic startup list to make sure that the boat is ready to go into the water. This particular boat is up in the air on a hoist. Many of you keep your boat on a hoist, which is a great way to keep the boat protected. Many of you keep your boats on trailers. In either case, the number one thing to double check before the boat goes into the water is to make sure that drain plug is in. They don't float very well without that, so double check it. It's a good thing to check every time. Just get into that habit. Safety equipment is the number one thing you want to double check in the boat. Make sure that you have a sufficient number of life jackets, Coast Guard approved of course, for the number of people you're going to have aboard. Good rule of thumb is have a cushion. So if you're going to have six people aboard, have eight or nine or ten life jackets aboard. It can't hurt to have more than you need. Double check that your fire extinguisher is mounted correctly. In a cobalt, nine times out of ten they're not going to be visible, but there are placards mounted in the boat showing where they're mounted. Make sure that you and your passengers know where they are, and it's a good idea for everybody to know how to use them. They're really simple to operate. Good idea to turn on the battery switch in the compartment where it's located. Almost on all cobalts, the battery switch is located on the port side in this storage area. The battery switch being an on-off switch right here and the fire extinguisher with the placard mounted on the outside indicating its location mounted right there. Open the motor box, check the oil in the engine or engines, check your fluid levels, Make sure the belts look correct on the front of the engine or engines. Make sure there's no water sitting down there that shouldn't be there. And then close the motor box and you're pretty much ready to go back into the water. Lastly, make sure that that platform, either the flip up, flip down platform is securely stowed or the hydraulic platform, if your boat is so equipped, is completely raised. And double check that that ladder assembly, if your boat is so equipped, is completely stowed. Okay, we're getting really close. We're off the trailer, we're off the hoist, the boat's in the water. The next thing we want to do is get going, but there's one or two more steps. At this point, the bilge blower must be turned on. The blower is designed for continuous operation, but normally when the engine is above an idle, it can be turned off. So we're going to turn on the ignition, but we're not going to start the engine. These are computers and they need to boot up. It takes about 30 seconds for them to boot up. So let's give them that opportunity. And while that's happening, the first thing we want to do is open the motor box and give another scan of the engine room to make sure that there's no water leaks that we didn't see earlier. We're allowing the electronics to boot up primarily so that we can see the indication of the power trim system. The drive unit, or units, on a twin engine boat are raised for trailering or for storage on a hoist. Once these units come up and we hit the I agree, then we have an indication for where the drives are. So what we want to do is drop them down to either zero if we've got plenty of water under the boat or let's say 20 to 25 percent if you're not quite sure how much water is under the boat say if you just came off a trailer and you're not real familiar with the bottom right in that area if you're down to 20 percent let's say you've probably got plenty of water left so you can go ahead and start your engine keep in mind your motor box is still open so now's a good time to go back there and have one final look and make sure that there's no water leaks that you did not anticipate. Assuming there are none, go ahead and close that motor box, come on forward, take a good hard look at all your engine indications, make sure you've got good oil pressure, everything looks proper in comparison to what you're used to seeing. Everything's looking good, you're ready to go boating. Don't forget that on the windshield right next to you is a checklist with the items we've been talking about. 
it's a good idea to get into the habit of using this list just as a reminder. As always, when you're idling out to the main channel, keep an eye on these gauges. Make sure your engine temperature is coming up to the proper operating temperature, usually around 160, 170 degrees. Every engine is going to vary a little bit. Your dealer can help you with what it should be. Your operating voltage on your battery system, just make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. You're ready to go boating. Enjoy the day. Remember, your Cobalt dealer is the expert regarding state and local regulations in your area. We appreciate your faith in Cobalt and want you to enjoy your time on the water.